guys welcome back to Drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the mrt application within windows 11 pc or even within windows 10. i don't know if you've ever heard about mrt but if you haven't heard about it this is basically a windows malicious software removal tool that is very handy and it is made by microsoft and what it's used for is basically used to help you to check your computer if you have any malicious applications or file or any malware on your computer and it will help you to remove them and i just want to mention as well that the app is freely distributed across most of the windows versions so i'm talking about windows 8 windows 7 windows 10 windows 11 guys you name it you most likely be able to find these tool on the windows computer before we jump in guys would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video and on top of that the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one now let's continue so how do you go about accessing this application it's very easy there are a few ways to go about getting this application up and running one way is by simply clicking the Windows key on your computer and simply type in run. And once you have the run open on your PC, you can simply type in MRT and hit enter, or you can type in MRT.exe and hit enter and it will open it up for you. You just need to allow it as well. So it will you'll get a prompt to allow and it will open up for you. Or easy, you can simply go ahead, click the Windows key again on your keyboard and simply type in MRT and you should find it, start to search and find the MRT run command here. So you open up that and it will trigger again. You just need to select yes and it will open up on your PC just like this. Right now to use it is very straightforward and very simple. What it does is gonna do some checks. So you just need to click on next. And once you click on next, you have three options here. You have the quick scan, you have the full scan, which can take up to several hours, depending on your speed of your computer and your processor as well. Also the quick scan may take five minutes, 10 minutes, but, as, but of course it depends on the speed of your computer. It might take a little bit longer. And as it says here, you do a customized scan and the tool will also scan the content of user specified folder. So you can go ahead and choose that. And if you choose this, you can choose a choose folder and you can choose between various folders on your computer. And that will allow you to scan those folders on your PC. And the quick scan will just basically do a quick scan of your PC as well. To do that, all you have to do is just select the quick scan, click on next, and it will start to scan here. And as you can see here from the information here, it is showing how fast it is currently scanning. It shows the files that are currently being scanned, if there's something affected, the start time. And of course, once this is done, you can simply click next and click on finish here. I want to recommend that you restart your computer once this is done because this is this will be required to restart your PC to ensure that your PC comes back and restarted very healthy and let's say in a healthy state as well. The next thing that I would like to mention as well that you would like to run this scan it's best for best practice you want to go ahead and run this scan every couple of days so i would say maybe every two weeks or every once a month you can run the scan on your pc to ensure that your pc is not affected by anything malicious as well and as you see in a few minutes i've been explaining you about what this tool does and how to use it the best practices and as you can see for my pc it is scanning very fast and it's almost finished once you finish guys that's all there is to it restart your computer and i wish you best of luck that you will not have any infected files on your pc and your pc will be cleaned but i want to recommend that if you don't know this tool go ahead and check it out try it out it's a very useful tool within windows and of course if you've used the tool before go ahead and let me know in the comments below your experience and of course i'm really happy to hear those comments from you here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time